Guys, look what I got. I... Liza! Oh Slow down. You're going to break your neck. Sorry. And you don't have insurance for that. Also, you need to stop using mine as your domestic partner. We live together. And we made that deal that if neither one of us are married by 30, we'd marry each other. I never agreed to that. And I'm not going to be 30 for another 15 years. Oh, thank God they're fine. I'm fine, too. Thanks for asking. What are the... Well, since tonight is the first night of the bar trivia tournament, I got us all matching jackets with our team name on the back. Beyonce! Give me, give me, give me, give me. We are going to kill it at the tournament. Guys, nobody has combined trivia knowledge like we do. You are covered on all things music and current events. Harlow, you know your celebrity and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And you are Lysopedia for all things movie, television, and all things 90s. Speaking of, look what I got. Huh? Bring back old memories? What is that, like a printer? Is that like a smart toaster? It's a VCR. I picked it up at this creepy little thrift store. Ooh, and I got a bunch of movies for us to study on. Oh, you can't even find some of these anymore. My favorites are the ones where somebody makes a wish and then they get a power. And I managed to snag a copy of my all-time favorite, Honest Gabe. Frankie Muniz stars as a kid who always lies and then he gets cursed so he can't lie for an entire day. It's classic. It's so funny. <laughs> Minus all the dated, racist, sexist, and homophobic jokes. You know, I wish I could pop this in for you guys right now and show you how Frankie Muniz tells his principal that she's got a big old fat ass. <laughs> uh, such different times. But I gotta go to work. I hired some taskers to do some product testing for everybody's favorite indie grocery chain, Prospector Gin. <gasps> I love PJs. That's where we do all our shopping. I know. They're basically paying me to eat yogurt pretzels all day. Oh, I am so jealous. Oh, can you get us the inside scoop on some of the new products? Also, can you get us some of that peppermint bark, even though it's not Christmas? People, please, one step at a time, okay? I'm gonna need at least a couple of weeks before I'm running the place. But today, I will stuff my pants with as many fish nuggets as possible. We're eating like kings tonight. No, we're good. Pants nuggets for everyone. <laughs> You think Prospector Jim rides up these elevators? Or does he have his own special one that looks like a mine car? You ever think about that? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll catch the next one. You guys go on up. Ooh, love the power yields. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. Had a little trouble catching an elevator. Almost like finding a parking spot at Prospector Jim's, am I right? <laughs> Anybody seen him? Prospector Jim? You think he's aware that the name is a little problematic? You know, the gold rush was basically a Native American genocide. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to bring down the room. Love the food. More donuts? Oh, sorry. I think I took the last one. You want it? I already touched it. Okay, fine. Fill it? Sorry. Okay, Bob, great. Thank you for that. So, is the big guy here behind the glass? You know, the guy with the initials PJ? Prospector Jim? Uh, the CEO of a major corporation usually doesn't have the time to observe all the focus groups. Right. So, Liza, could you share your thoughts about the Gold Rush granola poppers? Oh, uh... Sorry, I know you probably worked really hard on those, but not my favorite. Maybe if you replace the raisins with chocolate chips? So that's a no for you? Yeah. I mean, no. Sorry. Here's a good idea. <clears throat> what if it had chocolate chips instead of raisins? Chocolate chips instead of raisins. Great, Will. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Didn't I just say? Sorry. Janet, is it Jan Janella? Okay. Last question of round one. In the movie Freaky Friday, what causes the characters to switch bodies? It's easy. Magic fortune cookies. How do you remember that, but have to call me to remember your social security number? Because you're such a good domestic partner. Guys, we have nailed every single question. We're going to the finals. Rianse! Rianse! Dude! Oh! Sorry. What the frat, bro? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is sad.
that and I'm never gonna get this stain out. Also, why the hell did you apologize to him, Liza? Uh, I don't know, it's just being polite, I guess. I mean, our table came out of nowhere. No, that's not polite. You just said I'm sorry after he knocked into us. That's a really bad habit, Liza, and women do that all the time. We do? Yeah, I just read a whole article about it and a TED Talk and listened to a podcast about how women feel the need to apologize for everything. And it completely takes away your power. It makes you seem deferential and submissive. It's like you're apologizing for taking up space. Hell, half the time, women apologize for things that they didn't even do wrong. Men never do that. Oh. Who put that there? Oh, OK. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Piggy Smalls. Wow, I really do have a problem. I wish I could stop apologizing for one day. One day. Gabe Johnson, please report to the principal's office again. Liza, did you finish the almond milk? No. I'm so Oliver, I'm really What? I'm Liza, are you peeing in there? I'm That doesn't sound right. Yes, I finished the almond milk. Okay, fine. Jeez. Why can't I? I'm so. What? I'm so. I'm so. I'm so. I'm so. Sally sells seashells by the seashore, and I'm so. Hey, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so. Why can't I say it? Oliver! Oliver? I can't say it. Liza, I told you before, it's acai. No, no, that word you use when, when you do something wrong and you want the other person to know you feel bad. It feels like I'm stuck in one of those old movies. I said, I don't know if you're practicing for trivia night or what category this is, but I've really got to go to work. It's OK. Just what would Frankie Muniz do? It's weird how often I ask myself that. Hmm. Hold the door. Did she just say soups? I just wanted to let you know I won't be coming in tomorrow. My grandmother died. Oh, oh I'm so stoked. You're stoked? My grandmother died? Yeah. Because, I mean, you get a day off of work. You can wear a nice black dress. Maybe eat a good casserole. I'll be right back. Sad. Why didn't you just say sad? You're so stupid. <laughs> No, 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 no. I set that Boston cream aside so I could get one today. Oh, so it's for you. Oliver, I think we need to practice a little before the trivia semifinals tonight. Driante cannot lose again to those assholes that quiz on my face or dickleback. Also, how are they getting away with those team names? Relax, we'll be fine. We've got all the categories covered, remember? I can name every member of the Wu-Tang Clan, even kill a priest. Oliver. Who holds the record for the most home runs in a single season? What's that? What are you... Are you trying to talk sports to me? Yes! It's our weakness, our kryptonite, our Achilles heel! I got those last references. Yeah, because they're not sports-related. If we really want to win tonight and make it to the finals, we have to cram as much sports as possible. It's like uh, the clock is ticking. It's like the bottom of the ninth quarter. That doesn't sound right. I know! So I would love to hear your thoughts on these new blueberry waffle pyramids. Oh, oh. What's that, Liza? 
Oh, no. I'm... You're... Surprised anybody thought this was a good idea. These are disgusting. Ugh. Strong agree. Okay. Um, anything else, Liza? Yeah, actually. I mean, these will never fit in a toaster, and the syrup center is still frozen. You know, if you really want me to get excited about breakfast, you guys should bring back those Danish pancake balls. Those were awesome. Why'd you stop selling those? I loved those. Uh, what? Too much? I'm s standing by my opinion. That one, my office. This sport's biggest event is held Memorial Day weekend in Indianapolis. Tennis. Wrong, racing. This sport was invented by trying to throw a ball into a peach basket. Tennis. Wrong, basketball. This water sport became an Olympic event in 1984. Tennis? No, why do you keep guessing tennis? I'm hoping that if I keep saying it, it'll eventually be right. Uh, we're starting again. <gasps> so did Prospector Jim say why he wanted to see me? It's because I crapped all over his ideas, isn't it? Am I being personally banned from all stores? Because if so, can I please get a box of cheddar squirrels to go? Because I'm going to miss those the most. You can go in now. I just want to say what an honor it is to meet you. I'm a huge fan, and I know I may have sounded a little harsh in the focus group, but I'm really... S s specific. About, about what I like. Liza, when I started this company, I had little more than a dream and a love of affordable, organic foods. That and a large inheritance from my father who ran an oil company. But I think the real key to my success was I was never a bullshitter. And that's why I wanted to talk to you. Because you remind me a lot of myself. I, I do? Mm -hmm. You're brash. You don't hold back. You're unapologetic. Yeah, that's a thing that I am today. All day I'm surrounded by sycophants who tell me all my ideas are great and my farts don't stink, but you, you seem unafraid to hold back. And that's a good thing. It's refreshing. So, Isa, tell me, what else could I be doing? You want me to give you advice? Sure, don't hold back. There could be a real future for a straight shooter like you at this company. Wow, Harlow was right. Not saying it is like a superpower. What do you got? Um... If I wanted that many almonds in my trail mix, I'd just buy a bag of almonds. Also, shrimp jerky was a terrible idea. And dried fruit should not be more expensive than wet fruit. Oh, and one out of three snacks should be stuffed with peanut butter. There should be an entire team on this. Oh, and bring back those Danish pancake balls. Those are so good. That was fantastic, Liza. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my idea to put those in the stores. Yeah. Oh, there's just one more thing I want to get your honest opinion on. What do you think about my ponytail. Oh, I'm done. Do you think that looks good? I'm I'm so s surprised nobody has cut it off already. <laughs> I knew it. But you were the first person with the balls to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Rachel Ray's on the phone about the branding deal. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something right now? Okay. So Sorry. Liza, you know when the captain of your yacht tells you you just entered international waters, so nothing you do is a crime? Yeah, <laughs> who, who doesn't? Well, I feel like we're on the verge of something exciting. And you're right, it's time to bring back those pancake balls. And I've decided that you're the person who's gonna do it. Me? I told you I need more people like you around here. I'm putting you in charge of the relaunch, and you're gonna present it to the product division tomorrow. Oh, my God. T tomorrow Don't worry, I'll make it worth your time. Like, health insurance worth my time? Even chiropractic is covered. What do you say? Full speed ahead? <laughs> that was supposed to be a boat horn. Next question. Where did basketball legend Larry Bird attend college? That is like the fifth sports question. I swear to God, if you wrote tennis. What? And all the other questions are about old movies. Where the hell is Liza? Oh, she texted me back. So swamped at work. I'm sort of super special seat and a snowflake emoji. What? It's like she doesn't even care that she ditched us. Well, now I don't feel guilty about secretly switching out our jacket, so she got the one with the beer stains. <laughs> Excellent work, Liza. Oh, you're gonna do great tomorrow. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Not since I beat Richard Branson on Hungry Hungry Hippos. We play with real hippos. 
Sorry. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, Rachel Ray's still on the phone. What the hell? Why did you tell me? I'm so sorry. I thought I... You thought we'd just leave her on hold for another week? Now you just made me hang up on her. God damn it. There goes our Rachel Raisin Brand cereal and our Rachel Ray fried beans. Can you stop screwing everything up and get her back? Sorry. Can you believe this? Well, it wasn't her fault. I mean, she did tell you that she was on the phone and you hit the wrong button, not her. Well, I, I don't understand. What do you mean? I'm saying you should probably say you're... I should say what? Super disappointed in her because she messed up. We, we should probably get back to work. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I like your drive. I see a real future for you here. Oh, and don't mention anything about the hippos, okay? Apparently they're endangered. Whoa. Oh, hi, Liza. Remember us? Your roommates, your teammates, the Destiny's Child to your Beyonce? Guys, we know um, you're too important for us now. Or at least I think that's what the emojis were saying. You know, we barely made it to the next round of the tournament. The only reason we survived is because the lightning round was about the early cycles of America's next top model. Wait, you two made it to the next round. That's great. You two? The team isn't called Two Yonce. That doesn't even rhyme. Also, because we scored so low, we got a really bad time to qualify for the finals. Tomorrow afternoon. Ooh, I have a really huge presentation I have to give tomorrow. I don't think I can do it. I... Guys, guys, wait, come on. Hey, look, I'm, I'm really spread thin. That's it? That's all you have to say? I'm sort of doing that thing you told me to do? You know, not giving away my power, avoiding that bad habit that women have? Liza, I meant you shouldn't apologize to a stranger who spilled beer on us. We're your friends. We're the ones you should say sorry to. I know, but I, I can't. Like, I, I literally can't. Guys, I got honest gamed. Not a real thing. Oh, geez. Must have been a rough night. I kicked you out of bed. I'm sorry, Piggy Smalls. Sorry. I said it. P.I.G., I said it. I can say it again. I can say it again. The Frankie Muniz curse is over. Oliver, Harlow, I can say it. Shit, they go to the gym so early. Sorry for my language couch. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Oh. 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 Sorry. Sorry. I call the shower. I need to wash my hair. If we're gonna lose at trivia, I'm at least going down with a full-bodied shine. Hey, did you see that guy at the gym working the heavy bag? Didn't he kind of look like David Beckham? David Beckham, the soccer player? <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to quiz in my shorts the way he was looking at me. Oliver, do you know who Tom Brady is? Of course. He's a Republican football player with the dimpled chin married to Giselle. <sighs> who is the most loathsome ex now that we're all on board with Scott Disick? Easy. Tristan Thompson, the basketball, basketball player. Oh, my God! Oh! Oliver, <laughs> we know plenty about sports. All we have to do is just focus on all the hot celebrity athletes. Yes! Michael Phelps! <laughs> Huge hands. I just quizzed. This is it. Your first market-wide consumer product relaunch presentation. You feel that adrenaline? I think. To be honest, I only understood about half of those words, but... Hey, do you want me to run through the slide presentation with you? You had a little trouble with the laptop. Oh, no, 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 I'll be fine. Besides, I gotta hop on the phone with my attorney. Little tuna issue. Apparently, they're pretty strict about what counts as dolphin-free. <laughs> but this is gonna be great. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, don't worry about it. Let me take care of it. All right. Thanks for waiting, everybody. Team, I am so thrilled to introduce my new protege, Liza, who's about to tell you all about our exciting product relaunch. Okay. 
the hell is wrong with this thing? I told her we needed to make sure this thing worked before the meeting, but no. Liza, you really should apologize to the team for wasting their time like this. I should what? Apologize. Come on, Liza. There's a lot at stake for you on this. No. Well, just because I can say it doesn't mean I should. I will not apologize for something that's not my fault. What, just because I'm a woman and that's what's expected of me? No. If anyone should apologize here, it's you, Jim. To your assistant, Ellie. You know, she works really hard to make everything perfect for you. And she probably doesn't even get paid that much. And she shouldn't have to keep apologizing for her boss's mistakes. She knows that's part of her job. No. Making copies is a part of the job. Answering the phone or making you a tuna sandwich, which is apparently mostly dolphin, that's a part of the job. But what do you all think? Is sexist, abusive behavior one of the company's official policies here? <clears throat> I... I'm sorry. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know what? Good luck with your balls, Jim. I'll be thinking of you when I'm eating them smothered in butter. <clears throat> I did not mean for it to sound like that. But I'm not apologizing for it. First question of the round goes to Beyonce. Just to Beyonce. This Hasbro board game features blue, red, green, and yellow playing pieces, a safe zone, and home base. Sorry! Correct! Hi, Scott. We didn't think you were coming. I'm here. And guys, I know I've been a bad teammate, and an even worse friend. And Harlo, you were right. Okay, I used to apologize way too much. And now I see that there's a real power in being unapologetic. But you still have to take ownership of your own mistakes. Which is why I can honestly say, I'm sorry. Well, you did just win us that point. <laughs> and without you, we look like a couple from one of those white gill Oscar movies, so. Oh my god, you do. So what happened to PJs? <sighs> it didn't work out. Uh. It's okay. Our health insurance is better. It's not our health insurance. Yes. The next category is sports. Oh, great. We never get these. This Swiss athlete has won more titles in his sport than any other player. Roger Federer! Tennis. That is correct. Have you seen those thighs? Hi, I bought this VCR from you the other day, but I think there's something really, really wrong with it. Oh. I suspect it worked exactly the way it was supposed to. Hey, you didn't rewind all of these. Oh, I'm s You know what? Go f yourself. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, if you wrote tennis. What? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I did hear that the real prospector Jim is in the offices. <gasps> yeah. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, if you really want me to get excited about breakfast, you should bring back those Danish can <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you really want me to not come. You know when the captain of your yacht tells you you're about to enter international waters? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know when the captain... <laughs> <laughs> Michael Phelps! Huge dick. Hands. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On the next Lies On Demand. You have it all wrong. You two are looking for Mr. Perfect. What you should be looking for, Mr. Eh, I can live with that. Smoking! Are those Crocs on your feet? I get to customize them with my favorite gibbets. <laughs> gibbets? It's also why I gave up social media. That means one of two things, wife or criminal record. Maybe I'll just follow him around. Oh my God! It's like a Cosby sweater. Found out the truth and tried to throw itself in front of a moving train.